First seen over the battlefield during the Korean War, helicopters completely changed military tactics. Today, rotorcraft perform the tasks of transporting people and cargo, fire support, take part in search and rescue operations, and reconnaissance missions. Helicopters must show everything they can do in the most severe climatic conditions, loaded to the eyeballs under enemy fire and at the limits of their capabilities. Only a few of them can show a truly impressive result. So here are eight of the best helicopters in the world. As always, the criteria are the technical excellence of designs, production volumes, legendary history, and experience in military conflicts. Are you ready? Let's go! MI-24 The Soviet MI-24, with its numerous modifications, is the most massive attack helicopter in the world. Since the 1970s, more than 3.5 thousand crocodiles have been built. This is what the troops nicknamed these helicopters. Today, various versions of the MI-24 are in service in more than 60 countries. They took part in dozens of wars and conflicts around the world. The latest modification of the MI-35 is used in combat operations in Syria. The crocodile first took to the air in 1969, and it's hard to say when it will retire. Definitely not soon. The hallmark of the MI-24 is its amazing reliability and maintainability. In Afghanistan, there were frequent cases when pilots and technicians restored a helicopter damaged in battle on their own. The second advantage of the crocodile is the weapon. Depending on the modification, it carries built-in or suspended small arms and cannon weapons, guided and unguided missiles, bombs and cartridges with a caliber of 50 to 500 grams, machine guns and air-to-air -air missiles. AH-64 Apache The famous American AH-64 Apache, the main attack helicopter of the U.S. Army since the mid-1980s, still is the second in the ranking of the most massive machines in its class. In total, more than 2,000 rotary-winged Indians were built. Apache's latest variant, the Block 3, is equipped with a state-of-the-art flight control system, composite blades, new engines, and improved radar, and can fly unmanned aerial vehicles. The main armament of the Apache is a 30mm automatic cannon, Hellfire anti-tank missiles, unguided 70mm rockets, and Stinger missile systems for air combat. Moreover, this helicopter is used not only as a strike machine. The experience of armed conflicts in Central Asia and the Middle East has shown that the AH-64D can serve as a command helicopter and coordinate interaction between tactical aviation and ground units and the highly efficient TADS electro-optical system installed on the nose of the Apache allows pilots to perfectly navigate the terrain even in pitch darkness, which makes this car a good night reconnaissance aircraft. HAL LCH It's a multi-role helicopter developed in India. It can destroy enemy manpower and equipment, provide air support, reconnaissance, and escort. Also, its design is specifically designed for operations in mountainous areas, the speed of the combat vehicle is not so high, only 280 km per hour, but it is compensated by maneuverability. Equipped with a 20mm cannon, anti-tank missiles, several different types of bombs, and air-to-air -air projectiles, it is in service with the Indian Air Force. OH-1 Ninja The Japanese reconnaissance and attack helicopter OH-1 Ninja is one of the most compact and lightest in the world. Its weight is only 2.4 tons, comparable to large civilian SUVs. Such indicators were achieved due to the widespread use of composite materials in the design of the OH-1. About 100 helicopters of this class have been produced, and all are in service with the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force. The Japanese does not have built-in weapons, but it has four suspension points for the rocket, cannon, or bomb weapons. However, the combat load of this helicopter is small, a little more than 130 kilograms. The main task of OH-1 is reconnaissance, especially for this machine, a hydro-stabilized surveillance system was developed, which includes a color television subsystem capable of operating in low-light conditions, a laser rangefinder, and a thermal imager for viewing the front hemisphere. KA-52 Alligator The Russian KA-52 Alligator and its naval brother, KA-52K Katrin, are the only serial combat helicopters in the world with an ejection system. In addition, these vehicles have armored caps. Combined with a fully redundant control system between two crew members, these two factors make the KA-52 the most protected helicopter in the world. In March 2016, several alligators of the Army Aviation were transferred to the Kamemian Air Base in Syria, where they participated in various operations. 
Army aviation pilots loved the KF-52 immediately. The coaxial layout of the rotors provided the Alligator with outstanding flight characteristics. This machine is consistent to crosswinds and adverse weather conditions, can perform complex maneuvers, and fly even sideways. Eurocopter Tiger The European attack helicopter Eurocopter Tiger, which is in service with Germany, France, Spain, and Australia, is considered one of the best in the world in terms of flight range without external fuel tanks. At one gas station, it flies about 800 kilometers. The fuselage is 80% polymer composite materials based on carbon fiber and Kevlar. So the material is light, about three tons, and hardly noticeable to radars. The Tiger is armed with a built-in 30 mm cannon, guided and unguided rockets on external hardpoints. For its weight category, the helicopter is protected very well. Thanks to the design, the helicopter can continue flying even after being hit by a 23mm high-explosive fragmentation projectile. A peculiarity is the front location of the pilot's seat. The operator's workplace is at the back, and the seats of the crew members are shifted in opposite directions relative to the longitudinal axis of the machine to provide a better forward view of the operator from the rear seat. CAICWZ-10 The Chinese Army adopted a Chinese attack helicopter in February 2011. Official China says that the CAICWZ-10 is its own development, but Russian specialists participated in the helicopter's creation. Their crew in it is placed in tandem, unlike in any other combat vehicle. Due to the relatively small carrying capacity, it can accelerate to 300 km per hour, while the Ironbird body is made using stealth technology. It is armed with a 23mm cannon, as well as air-to-ground, air-to-air missiles, and unguided projectiles. It is in service with the Chinese Air Force. MI-28NM Night Hunter The Knight Upgraded is the latest modification of the Night Hunter, the development of which began in 2009. It takes into account all the comments that the MI-28N received during state tests. The developers have done a lot to make it more convenient for the crew of the Night Hunter to work, especially in the dark. The helicopter has a new sighting and search system. The armored cabin protects the crew from armor-piercing bullets and up to 20mm caliber shells. The concept of an air tank implies the possibility of using a wide range of weapons on a helicopter. As before, the MI-28NM arsenal includes various types of guided and unguided missiles. The new helicopter will receive the country's first multifunctional air-to-air or air-to-surface helicopter missile with a homing head. The missile has an increased range, which allows the crew to destroy targets without entering the danger zone. That's all for today. Which helicopter did you like the most? Leave your opinion in the comment and subscribe if you like this video. See you soon.